drop a like of the video in the next five seconds for NBA 2K22 to be the greatest 2K of all time. Trust me, I would not risk it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka HDF, and I am back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be finally bringing you my legend build. You guys know I hit legend a while ago, and I made this build. And if you've been following up on my Twitch streams, I have been streaming a lot of wagers on there, and I have been playing with this build in those wagers, and we have been winning just about every single next gen wager and i've been going off with this build now this build be can be used as a lock on the threes a corner sitter in the twos and even the main ball handler on the twos if you adjust it a little bit or if you have legend so if you're not legend don't worry this build is still usable especially as a lockdown now i'm going to show you guys exactly how to make this build some wager highlights with this build so you can see exactly what this build can do and my bad setup of course with and without legend now make sure you guys drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new we're on the road to 500,000 subscribers i will also leave a link to my jump shot that i'm using in this video the link will be in the description but yeah y'all also make sure to go follow my twitch so you guys can see all these wagers live but without further ado let's get straight into this banger man let's get it Okay, y'all, we are in the build creator. We're going to create this build exactly how I built it. I'm going to show you guys how mine is and how you can adjust it a little bit if you want to run the one on twos without legend. Otherwise, with, with or without legend, this is the best lockdown build in the game, basically. And not a lot of people really use this exact 6'7. So we're going 6'7, go 211 pounds, obviously a power forward, so you can get more badges. We're going to go max wingspan two, okay? Max wingspan 7'4, body type, you can go with whatever. I I went with compact i think that's the best one for me so that's the one we went with now we're gonna get into the stats and badges and i'm gonna explain exactly why i did everything now here we go now starting with the driving you want 12 driving badges so you can get heat seeker you can get post riser and you can get fearless finisher all on hall of fame you're also gonna have a 99 driving dunk a high layup a high standing dunk too so you need a lot of standing dunk animations now when it comes to the shooting badges by the way you're also gonna get contact dunks you only need 10 shooting badges i know that seems really low but you only only need 10 i'm going to show you why later um pass accuracy you're going to lower that you're going to get a max ball handle max speed with ball so that's going to give you 12 playmaking for now we're going to max the perimeter defense we're going to actually yeah we're going to max that we're going to max the steals we're going to have 99 steel on this build max the block max both of the rebound we're going to have 30 defensive badges make sure to put the interior defense to a 29 and we're going to have max everything on physicals max everything on physicals and look at that bro this build is already looking like a huge w now i know i have legend by the way if you want to copy down these stats make sure to copy down these stats but if you want to adjust this so you have a little more shooting badges maybe enough play making for bullet passer then we're going to go ahead and show you exactly what you should do if you want to do that now if you do want to do that you're only going to have eight driving badges which is fine you can get hall of fame heat seeker hall of fame posterizer that's really all you need with the driving so that's good enough um even to run the one as well the, by the way this adjustment will also allow you to run the one on twos even with or without legends so this is really like a better version of it if you don't have those extra badges or you're just not comfortable with the low shooting badges and low pass accuracy so yeah just make these adjustments you're seeing on the screen you'll have a couple more shooting badges you'll have enough for bullet passer once you hit 99 and you'll also have more playmaking badges um, a little less defense and a little less driving but you'll still have max physicals and i'm not gonna lie this build is literally a demon regardless of the badge count anyways we're gonna go back to how i have it and this is how i have it 10 shooting 12 driving 12 playmaking and 30 defense this is now this is really the best legend of build too i'm gonna be using this in twos wagers i've been using it in very crazy threes wagers we're talking about two thousand dollars ten thousand dollars five thousand two thousand one thousand against the best of the best and i'm gonna be showing you guys highlights of that so make sure you guys stay tuned because you're really gonna see this build in action on the threes um and i showed a little gameplay on the twos in the beginning of this video but anyways you're gonna go with the takeovers um now you now on the threes i use extreme clamps um as my secondary takeover and then i use 
jump shot contest enhance or something like that as the primary and then the twos i would use spot up and limitless but once you max out your batteries you'll be able to change your takeovers so it doesn't really matter at this point and it's going to give you a scoring machine let's be honest like 99 percent of builds are just called a scoring machine so that doesn't matter but anyways let's go look at the badge layout and what my build looks like at 99 overall okay y'all i am in the park now we are only at 98 so if you add plus one to all these stats that's what it's going to look like at 99 overall let's look at the progression now by the way i'm going to go over everything so we have contact dunks with a 99 driving dunk. We have a high mid-range, high three-pointer, 88, 94 mid. We have an 84 ball handle, 88 speed ball. Now, I'm adding one to everything because that's what it would be at 99. 99 perimeter defense, 99 steal, 97 block, 92 offense rebound, 99 defense rebound. So I'm grabbing hella boards with this build. And look at max physicals, too. I don't know if you guys realize, but a 75 strength is, like, ridiculous. That's going to make people not let people blow by me as much it's gonna give me more blow buys it's gonna me get me better contests in the paint regardless of my interior defense i also have a 95 vertical so i'm gonna get more blocks better dunk animations more chase down blocks i'm gonna get better rebound animations i also have a max stamina 88 speed 84 excel on a 6 7 build with a 7 foot 4 wingspan bro I'm going to be in every lane with 99 steel, bro. Like, nah, this build is ridiculous, bro. Now, once again, here are all the takeover options you can use. They have sharp, lock, glass, slashing. You could do whatever. I would just recommend sticking with sharp or lock, whatever. It doesn't matter what court you're on, to be honest. Now, here is the badge count with Legend. I'm going to show you guys my badges with and without Legend of what I would do. So, here's my finishing with Legend. This is ridiculous. Look at this Legend build, bro. Like, this, this is unstoppable, bro. 20 shooting, 22 playing. I get Hall of Fame bullet passer. I get Hall of Fame everything. 40 defense. Hall of Fame Heart Crusher, Hall of Fame Interceptor. This this is a glitch, bro. This is a glitch. But let's look at the badges on what I would do if I didn't have Legend. Now, here's my badge count without Legend. I would go with Hall of Fame Posterizer, Hall of Fame Heat Seeker, and Hall of Fame Fearless Finisher. Now, if you went with the other one, you could just take away Fearless Finisher. You'll be fine. Shooting badges, Hall of Fame Deep Threes, Hall of Fame Hot Shot, Bronze Hot Zone, Bronze uh, Green Machine. If you went with the other one, you can add one to Green Machine and add one to Hot Zone Hunter. Now, with the playmaking badges, I went with Silver Bullet Passer, Hall of Fame Handles for Days, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Bronze Bailout, Bronze Unpluggable. If you don't have Bullet Passer, then you can go ahead, because if you didn't make that second version of the build, you can go ahead and put it on either Unpluggable, or you can go with um, a little downhill action, maybe Floor General, whatever you want to go with, whether it's threes or twos. And then here are my defensive badges without Legend. It's still ridiculous. Make sure you guys run Hall of Fame Pickpocket and Hall of Fame Interceptor. It's literally a glitch. Hall of Fame Chase Down is a must, too. The Hall of Fame Chase Down gives you way better chase down animations than gold, silver, bronze. So it's either Hall of Fame or nothing. I'm not going to lie. Hall of Fame Rim is huge, too. You get a huge boost to your teammates' takeover if you get a block. And then Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, obviously, must have badges as well. And make sure to also have boost and Gatorade when you're playing with this build. You don't have to have Gatorade, but having shooting boost, you know, you should just have shooting boost on any player you're playing with in the in the park or in the stage. But finally, what do y'all have been waiting for? Let's look at the wager highlights with this build. I've also been waiting to look at this. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, here go the highlights with this build. Every single highlight you see for the rest of this video is in a wager. Now, I'm talking about a wager against Eyeball for $2,000, one of the best next-gen clans. Same with WST, another very good next-gen clan for $2,000. Uh, we also had a little bit of the D-Boy $5,000 wager. We have, you know, just some crazy intense wagers for a lot of money. So, as you can see right here, I don't know how but that dude just misses a wide open layup i got a fast break dunk this player is fast he gets the good layup animations right there good dunk packages that can't get blocked open in the corner you know what i'm saying i'm not missing in the corner with this build y'all thought 10 shooting badges wasn't enough a lot of these waiters too my player was not max so i did not have max shooting look at that shot is for game right there i could clutch up as well see i didn't really have max badges for a lot of these clips or even a max overall too so just pointing that out there just so you guys do know that this player has more potential than some of these clips you see look at i'm getting every single lane this is during game that was during game seven of the wager look at <laughs> game one of this wager i'm coming down from full court getting that look at look at the clamps too this is iso bro 
ISO defense. Look at the ISO defense. I'm getting bumpy, bro. Who do you know? Getting this bumpy on a this is a 6-7 ISO with me. Not just any 6-7 too. This is bandit ISO with me. Completely clamped. All 24 seconds they have to force out a pass. They end up getting a 24 second violation. Nah, bro, that defense is ridiculous. And that's one of my players was only like a 92 overall. Look at the clamps, too. We're going to keep showing clips of me getting interceptions. You know what I'm saying? Playing defense again. I forced the pass out. Another terrible shot. I also, you know, I'm I'm getting the box out. I, I could have got that rebound, too. But, you know, Power's got to probably you know, get that rebound. Look at this clutch block. That was for game. If he did, if he got that dunk, they would have won that game. Then I get the dot because I got bullet passer on. Oh my gosh, bro! Like, nah, this player is too clutch. He be hitting, I be hitting game winners and wagers. I be getting game saving blocks. Like, nah, bro. And I don't miss. Trust me. Y'all thought ten shooting badges wasn't enough. This is with ten. I didn't have max shooting, and I'm just sparking it. I'm. I didn't even miss. The 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 amount of times I probably missing all the wagers combined is like maybe two. Like, I'm not even kidding. And they were full bars. You know what I'm saying? So not even any like crazy stuff like no exaggeration type stuff but anyways look at the iso right here i'm clamping him completely i know he wants a three uh, bro how many like how many times are these dudes gonna get clamped all the way down to the last second this lockdown build trust me you want this build if you play threes in next gen and if you want to make the adjustments to play twos too make the adjustments the build is still gonna have 28 defense it's gonna have more shooting more playmaking and you don't need you technically don't really need 12 driving it's just a little extra to get the fearless finisher but look at this another 24 seconds being clamped and that's with takeover this dude has takeover y'all and he's still getting clamped with this build again i be getting poke animations too i got that 99 steal another dot to my boy chad all the way in the corner nah bro i'm telling you this defense is ridiculous on this build i do not be getting broke a lot too if you want you can put on hall of fame ankle braces as well and this and bandit had ankle breaker takeover too and i think i only got broke one time look at i'm forcing the pass to the corner and by the way i always tell my corner sitters to just stay home just trust me look at another poke steal nah bro this build is so fun to play on too because i know a lot of you guys probably struggle with defense um in next gen so the most annoying thing is probably playing defense when you have this build you can defend everyone and offense comes easy in this game so you're going to play offense regardless and if you play next gen you know that so when you have the defense it's just like you feel like a demigod look at look at that contest uh almost a hundred percent smothered jumping at him game winning um corner shot bang and we swept that team right there look at another this is a two thousand dollar wager right here i'm getting a clutch steal in game one going out to the corner green i never miss in the corner but most of them are open but some of these y'all are gonna see i'm shooting over dudes and i'm pulling it with confidence because even with 10 shooting matters 20 shooting batters whatever depends depends on how much i had at the time because this player was not max i'm i have confidence with this build look at another steal bro i get so many look at look at look at this oh my god bro this this build you don't want to be guarded by this build look at, i'm shooting over those two did y'all see that was a what was that a 25 percent nah bro th this build you do not want to be guarded by this build this build is annoying to play against look at i'm hall of fame intimidator I'm, this dude is missing dunks on me bro he's missing dunks look at the same possession i'm popping to the corner i'm shooting that that's gold blinders whatever blinders I had i think i had silver blinders i don't even remember look at another shot i can bail out too i got bronze bailout and look at this is 19 to 19 that was a clutch bailout i don't get that out we might lose this game and chat hits the game winner right here and that puts us up i think 3-0 in that in that two thousand dollar wager look at this dude's jumping at me i don't care i'm shooting it with that long lead span he can barely get a contest i can definitely shoot at the top of the key y'all saw the twos gameplay in the beginning of the video i was shooting from limitless god damn, i was going crazy with this build but like i said bro you want this build in next gen i don't care what the shooting bad is there i don't care what the playmaking bad is are i don't care what the driving bad is are if you had 28 defensive bad is with a 99 steal a 97 block a 99 perimeter defense it's going to make life so much easier so much easier in next gen it's gonna make you a better player it's gonna make you win more games it's gonna make the game easier in general for real anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new let me know what you guys think of this build i'm not gonna lie i'm just giving y'all my build because a lot of you guys have been asking for it so here it is but anyways it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all i ain't never had no friends i was all alone she ain't never called my phone
wrong, she left me on my own. They saying all girls are the same, probably than my dog. She said, can you stay with me? Now I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my deck. It's wet, I'm about to flex up on my necks.